Today on Newcastle Fans TV, we ask supporters who attend both the men and the women's matches, demonstrating a deep-rooted passion and commitment to the club across all levels. These dedicated fans that we interview today appreciate the unique qualities and talents of both teams, recognise the importance of supporting the club as a whole, regardless of gender. By attending matches of both men's and women's, these supporters contribute to creating a unified and an inclusive atmosphere at both St James's Park and Kingston Park, fostering a sense of community and belonging among fellow fans. Their unwavering support highlights the growth and progress of women's football and showcases the club's commitment to equality and diversity. Hi, I'm Steve. I'm from Cramlington. I'm 50 years old, as hard as that is for me to believe sometimes. Michael Corwood. Age? 34. Location? South Shields. Lexi. Ella. Ella. Uh, can you tell us the ages? 13. 11. 13. Uh, I'm Lucy. I'm 15. I'm from Jarrow. I started going to the women's games two years ago. I'd watched the... Lionesses win the Euros and really enjoyed that and thought, you know, I should be going and supporting our lasses as, as well as the men. I uh, went to my first couple of games, really enjoyed it, and I've been going ever since. For the men's, uh, six home games, no away games. I've attended all the home games for the men this season, but not away. Uh, I've got a season ticket for the men, so I've been all the home games. I've not been any away games, but it's hard to get tickets, so. Yeah. One home game, none away. Three home games, none. So this season I have been to, I think, 21 men's home games, 17 away, and 12 home games for the women and four away. That's before the weekend when we play Spurs in Huddersfield. Um, all but two. All the home games for the lasses this season and three away and still two more to come. All for the women, like all home games for the women and four away games. All but the Wolves away. All the home games and Luton away. My biggest enjoyment about watching the women football is is more about the you know the camaraderie, the fans, um, going into the ground. You know, we've <laughs> I've been going since there was you know fifty hundred people going, um, and you get to know the people who go regularly. So going in and seeing people like Bernie and Joe and Helen um, really makes you feel part of the group rather than just one of a huge crowd. And I think the difference that makes to the players, you know, when 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 you start shouting and, and yelling and joining them with a chance, you can see the players are visibly lifted. They, you know, you, you're there with them rather than them just being sort of playing right in front of you and 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 you know, sort of separate from the crowds. Uh, so it really makes makes us feel like we make a difference. It's the atmosphere. Um, having a, a young daughter who plays football herself. Seeing the players that you can look up to, the atmosphere, the, the fan friendliness in the crowd, um, just the, the amazing atmosphere. Everybody's one community. It's just incredible. The community is like something, it's like it's really closely knit and everyone like gets on so well. And just seeing like the lasses, like they're a really good team, they're a really good group of girls and they're doing so well in the league. So it's just good to watch and it's just a really nice community. Seeing the women succeed and the atmosphere there is fantastic. Just getting to watch them and how much they've developed as a team together. The atmosphere and like how much they develop. The fact that I can meet new people and who like like the same things as that I like in the atmosphere. Definitely feel more connected to the players and the other fans than I do at the men's football. I mean, something I realised quite early on. I, I I use Twitter quite a lot, and when you play when you praise one of the women players on Twitter or you know you. you comment that they were your player of the match you, you quite often you know they see it you, you'll, you'll get a like from the player themselves or from their mum or something you know you'll get a little comment back saying thank you I mean and the fact that you've been able to have that contact with the player you've given them that that bit of lift made them feel good about themselves it really it really um, makes you feel like you're making a difference and really part of part of the team rather than just somebody who's you know going along to watch um, as a result of that, I also have a much lower tolerance for people posting negative comments. You know, if somebody if somebody 
um, insults Bruno after a men's match, I, I don't think he sees it, I don't think he cares. Whereas if somebody insults one of the, the women's players, I'm straight on there complaining and telling them, telling them um, that I disagree. Yeah, I feel more connected to the women's games as the women have more time for their fans. Right now, I'd say the women's ever so slightly, again, purely because of the fact that my daughter plays football and we've had season tickets for the women's team for a few years now. So yeah, slightly the women's team. Probably, but I don't know if it's something to do with the size of the stadiums. Like, you're a lot closer to the pitch and everything, like, depend, like at Kingston Park. And I feel like, like at the end of the last games, the players come over and they're happy to speak to you and everything. And even the manager is like, happy to come over and that. And I just feel like you're, you're more interactive with them. It's just a better atmosphere, like, yeah, because it is a smaller group, but, like, everyone talks more. You, you get to meet them at the end, and they're really friendly, all of them. Um, I think it's just, like, the atmosphere. So it may not be, like, a bigger crowd, but it's definitely, like, more enjoyable. That said, you know, when I'm forced to choose, I still go to the men's games in, in, in preference to the women's. I mean, I would love to be able to go to both. Sometimes you just can't. You know, I was, I think I was in, I forget which game it was. I was in London for uh, an away game at the same time as the lasses were playing at Gateshead. Obviously, I can't go to both. Um, I think that's probably, you know, partly it's financial thing. Obviously, you spend a lot more money going to the men's games. Um, and I've been following them for... <laughs> 30 something years so yeah it's it, it's difficult i do feel guilty when i miss a women's game um i think that the, the other difference with the men's is obviously it's a, it, it's a much more visceral atmosphere you, you know you really feel like you're out of control in a large crowd when you when we when we score it, it, you know you lose control completely um when you can see when we concede a goal you know it, 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 it feels that much worse. I think the women's game is a much sort of friendlier, more f more family atmosphere. Um, you know, there's not that quite level of sort of like bellowing madness that happens with some of the men's games. Um, but yeah, I would love I would love to go to every single game. Women's uh, again because we've got season tickets. Um, my daughter prefers going to the women's games. Um, again, I'll touch on it the the fan friendly atmosphere, um, just the, the togetherness. Um, it's a bit more of a free reign when you're in the ground. Um, so, yeah, the women's game. It's a hard question. Um, I don't know if I could honestly pick. Obviously, you would have to, but I feel like they're just two totally different sort of communities as well. Like, But it's just so hard to pick. It, I think it would also depend on like how what sort of game it is. Like, if it was like this sort of game where if we win today, we're going to win the league. I feel like you could probably pick this one, but it's a really, really tough question to pick. And I just, it's a really hard one. It's really hard to choose between both Newcastle and men and women, but I love them both equally. Just, I just feel like it's better and I just enjoy it more coming to the women. I just like prefer it before. It's something we, my family, have bonded over, so it's kind of something like we all do together. Whereas if it was the men's, my dad probably wouldn't want to come as much as he does to the women's. To be honest, I'm not disappointed the season is almost over. Um, give me a couple of weeks until there's no more games and I'm bored of a weekend. Maybe maybe I'll feel differently. But right now, uh, I think you know I'm looking forward to the to the women in particular getting that reward that they've been working so hard for. You know, hopefully on Sunday they'll get the promotion and and and. And, and that'll be fantastic. Um, and then after that, you know, <laughs> I'm kind of looking forward to having a weekend or two off without without having to drag myself down to St. James's or to London or to Manchester or to, and to Kingston Park. So um, I'll no doubt be bored over the summer. But for now, um, I'm really kind of looking forward to that break. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but incredibly excited for what next season's going to hold. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll miss it over the summer, but it won't be long. We'll be back in the championship. Having a match at the end of the week, it gives you something to look forward to the whole week. And like even last week when we did another game, it was just like you Sunday felt empty. Like even like I know the devs were playing, but they were away, so like not everyone could get there. And it was just like there was no like even if it's away and you can't be there, there was no notifications on your phone telling you what the score is and everything. And it's just it it leaves a bit of a hole in your week, but. It's been an amazing season and I think 
we've had some class games to go to. We've been to Man United, we've been to Luton, we've played in Premier League stadiums. It's just been such a good season and it's been an amazing season to watch. Yeah, I'm disappointed that the season is over, but can't wait for the next one to start. Yeah, but I feel like next season we're going to have more challenges and it'll just be like twice more exciting. Yeah, but it's been a really good season. Yeah, like this is the first season where I've properly been like involved and came all the games, but but I think next season will be just as good. Find a way where fans could get to the away games more cost effectively. Obviously, if we went up the leagues, the um, the journeys to away games were were longer. They weren't as easy accessible. Um, and the demands there, we've seen with the attendances we've got at home at Kingston Park this season, how much fans want to attend these games. So it was just a way to get the fans together and make it more easily accessible and cost effective. A big thank you to all the fans that we've interviewed today and these supporters who attend women's games do it out of the genuine appreciation for the sport and the deep respect for the talent, skill and the dedication of Becky Langley's squad. They cherish the competitive spirit and the excitement that women football offers, recognising it as an integral part of the broader football community. These dedicated fans actively oppose and reject any sexist remarks or those stereotypes suggesting that girls can't play football. The view such outdated and discriminatory attitudes as harmful and divisive, undermining the progress and the inclusivity of the sport. For Toon supporters, attending women's games is not only a way to enjoy quality football, but it's also a statement against prejudice, advocating for equality and respect for all athletes, regardless of gender. They are committed to creating an environment that celebrates diversity and it empowers female players to excel on the pitch. But the one thing that all of these fans love is the enjoyment and the community that Becky Langley and the rest of her squad have brought to the fans.